This video training will focus on the Blender 2.8 compositor and some of the techniques used professionally to enhance the quality of the rendered images. We'll briefly go through one of the key nodes in this moment called Cryptomat and how it will help us to accomplish a basic color correction on the blasted rock. But first, let's review common pitfalls for a compositor. One thing a compositor should always look out for are edges. There are one or two pixel halo outlines that break the illusion of seamless integration. Noise severely damages the composite layers and let's keep in mind also transparency means you gotta have pixel perfect cutouts of your passes, masks or mats. This is known as the Primolt factor. It's a headache to fix alpha transparency first and integrate it with other scene element renders or passes specifically on tight deadlines and human error renders. If we create masks on an object while using the compositor, it will take more time than if it was as isolated as one element by itself. Let us say the fact that masks consume constant render representation and are heavy to calculate for Blender compositor. Frame 1 is finished, only 249 frames more to go. So to isolate objects and materials, the clown pass or ID mat pass was a necessity on cycles, but this brought to the table the ability to overwrite the original materials, separating them on pass layers, which by the way are different than rendered layers, a convoluted method for the new user and some experienced people as well. We present a fully automatic system for providing ID mats for every material, object, and namespace using a minimal set of images. We use hashes of object names to accomplish this. As such, names can be used to identify mat selections. Our filtering and encoding techniques allow us to fully support transparency, depth of field, and motion blur. Rendering these ID masks does not require any special setup in 3D, and is production proven on a wide range of projects at PSYOP. PSYOP is a huge post-production studio with some lead technical directors for creating state-of-the-art visuals for commercial advertising and movies. It used to be a Softimash studio, but since EL, they moved entirely to Maya. Here's an example of Cryptomat rendered from Maya to Nuke, to specifically embellish any render element from the scene in post-production. A true lifesaver. Stefan Werner, one of the technical members on Tangent Animation, ported the open source code to Blender last year on their own version of Blender, and just this week, it was released as a core function on Blender 2.8. So thank you, Tangent Animation and Stefan! Cryptomat in Blender can immediately create masks to isolate the element or materials so we can work directly with a picker on the compositor to choose over what rendered element we would like to work. So let's check out the possibilities in the following training session.